take two. Um, <clears throat> I just tried this, but then I dropped this on the floor and I couldn't find it again. So <laughs> this is take two. So this is the composition book I'm going to use for my Christmas um, journal this year. And the reason is because it's red. I got it from Salvation Army this past weekend. They had 50% off everything in the store. So I bought a whole package, a whole baggie of notebooks. And there was like six or seven of them. And four of them were composition books. And it came to $2. And the ones I got, they are cheap Walmart um, books. But this one was not used at all. So two bucks. And this one was not used. Sounds like a good stinking deal to me. So I have to cover up my square, um, this part here, and down here. So maybe I will do, I made these ribbon rolls um, a while back. Not a while, but a couple weeks ago. So maybe I will do some ribbon rolls and go around the whole thing is a possibility. Um, and I also have like the little Christmas trees here. Those would be cute. And I also have Merry Christmas. So I think we are going to try doing that. Ooh, you know what else we could do though? I also have some Christmas scrapbook papers. And I could just put a square of this in there. Let's see. I kind of like this one. I mean, I know this cover doesn't have any blue on it, but I kind of like that there. And then this over it. No, that's not going to go. Um, let's see. Let's see what I already have torn out <laughs> of scrapbooks. Ay, 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 let's see. Hmm. Like this paper is nice. Or they're all sticking together because the little perforated pieces are all sticking. Ooh. You can't go wrong with little pieces of music. So we're going to do pieces of music. Okay, and I'm not worried, you know, like, I hoard, so, I hoard papers that I don't, that I, you know, that I'm afraid to use, and I would normally, in a normal circumstance, hoard these, but I am making the conscious effort to use them. We will use our ribbons, our ribbons someplace else. So we'll do this, and around the edge, I, these are the... Stampin' Up pads that you saw in my haul video recently from the Creative Reuse Store. And um, the only thing is, like, maybe, am I just an idiot or are they hard to open, these Stampin' Up pads? They're, like, tough to open, so... but I want to just, just the very edge of it. Or I could do the whole thing, I guess. I could grab a little doodad here and just go along and give it a whisper of ink. See, yeah, I like it there. Yeah, we'll do that. Now, I grabbed two because this one is going to go on the back of the book. So, go ahead and get the edge done on this one. such a crazy week I mean like ahead of me it's just nuts I, I don't know I don't know how I'm gonna do it all I'm just gonna have to take on one task at a time I guess 
and like it's not even Christmas stuff. It's like you know, gotta run to the registry and I gotta go to the bank and I have insurance bills and oh, I gotta cancel the insurance on my truck, which sucks. I had to take my Brucey Poo. He is no longer registered in my big truck because he's old and tired. I'm going to close this up for a second because I want to use I want to use this on the burlap too but we're going to we might it might be a second before I get to it. I don't like these. I don't like these stampin up pads for this very reason. That's the reason why I don't usually grab them. But I do like them because they stay good and juicy for a long time. All right. So this is the top. I had to run and grab my Aleens because I don't trust a glue stick on these covers. So, and you know, I know I use just, I'm just using a six by six square and I'm not like cutting it or ripping it. But we can put little ditties on the cover as we go. You know? To make it look less like I just slapped a piece of scrapbook paper down. And make it look more like art. And a baby wig. So, we're going to start there, and I'm going to do the same thing with this one on the back. I think I have to get a new Aleens bottle like this, um, because it's almost like the nozzle has opened up more, and more glue is coming out of it. I don't know, maybe, it, maybe I'm wearing it down. I've had it for five years, that bottle. Just keep filling it. See? I even have a picture of a turtle on it. Okay. Oop. I'm just kind of getting the edges. Um, and I have a whole stack. <laughs> These are all my Christmas cards from last year that I have to put in there. So yeah, kind of slacking. I am going to put those like somewhere in the beginning though, so I will go against the grain and start by filling a few pages up with cards instead of going from back to front in the book. <clears throat> okay, my burlap tree can go right here, but we are going to ink on the edge of this burlap. So now, uh, I don't like opening these, man. I know y'all are like, hey, you just gotta do this. But I'm not used to these ones, so. I'm not used to these. It's kind of like stiff, too. Like the plastic seems like it might have been a little warped at one time. There we go. There we go. See, it's kind of inking up nice there. Looks like blood. My bloody Christmas tree. So that'll work there. And we are going to, since I went through so much craziness, having to start a new video again because I had to look for my Santas. You better believe Santa's little noggin is going to go on there too. I do have to go out and grab some of my Christmas stuff. I don't think I'm going to be able to grab it all at once, but I'll grab a handful of stuff at a time that we can work on. Because I just don't have the time or the room to have all of my Christmas stuff in here like I've done in the past. 
All right, so that right there is gonna be very sticky because it just comes right through the burlap. So hopefully the glue lines don't show up too much. They don't usually, I don't usually have a, that much of an issue with glue lines. My Santa too, because they're really thick cardboard, I might punch some holes and make a couple of, you know, dangly um, Christmas things. And I haven't been to Dollar Tree. I, I take that back. I went on Friday, but they didn't have any of the little wood cutouts like they had for the fall that I was able to put the little fall thing on the bottom of my following journal. But if they do have some, I'll buy them for Christmas too. The inside cover, what can I do? I'm going to probably just do some scrapbook paper inside too. Mm. Because I am going to use up scrap, I am going to use scrapbook paper, okay? I am. I own it. I bought it. I will use it. So I like that there. And I'll move this because I know that my burlap is going to leak glue on my mat here. Let's get it right up to the edge. And I'm going to put a pocket in the front because as I collect things in my travels and stuff, I don't want to just throw them in a pile, so I can tuck them right into the front, which would be more user-friendly for me. So maybe I will make a pocket out of my ribbon, but we'll, we'll back it on something. Back it on something. Let's see what I got. Here's some cardboard. I have, um, I'm sure I got something sturdy nearby because I use a lot of, I use a lot of chipboard and file folders. I'm sure I can find something. I usually like to go around my edges, but you know, can't win them all. I didn't even get a lot of Christmas magazines, so like I didn't get a lot of fall magazines, and I didn't get a lot of Christmas magazines, so I'm kind of going to be relying on all the old stuff I have. Um, and I guess we can do a, a we can go through my Christmas stuff. It'll have to be outside, though. So you might have to hang out in my junky storage space. <clears throat> All right, so I like that. And we got to back this on something. We have to put it on something. What do I have? Around. Oh, it's drying quick. That's drying quick. See? See you there? Ooh, I have this book cover underneath a whole bunch of stuff that I have to move. That's my checkbook. I don't want to use that. <laughs> okay, let's see. This was, um, ooh, it's even, I even like the inside. So this is a book cover. It was a flow, um, stationary book so I am gonna cut it I want you know I want to have a nice thick sturdy cover I mean pocket space and I'm gonna kind of make a mess I guess cutting it I didn't want to but let the cards fall where they may So if I take this, and I'm not going to use this side, obviously, because I really screwed that right up. So I am going to fold this, which is like my way of getting a straight line without equipment. <laughs> All right, so let's fold this. But you need to line it up your edge to your edge that you know is straight not your wonky edge that's like me okay 
And then you have to hold this down and take your burnishing tool and flatten that out because it is really, it is a really thick piece of paper. Then you cut along, I'm going to cut just below the wrinkles. Okay, just below the wrinkles. Might not be 100% straight. If you're one of those people that need straight lines, don't watch me. Do as I say, not as I do. Then I can put that there. And I can put a strip of tape in the middle. Yep. I mean, not that particular, that's like upside down, but you know, you catch, you catch my drift. So I don't want to cut off this end. I want to cut off this end. And I'll use that for a tag. And look at that. <clears throat> gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Okay, so pocket, which means we are only going to glue three sides because we want the top to be open, right? I do have some random weird Christmas stuff like I grabbed the Lowe's flyer and I want to put like some of their ads in here <laughs> because you know I want to remember that stuff like oh look what they had for sale on Black Friday back in 2022 I like that stuff and I want to get some ads you know um, packaging from cereal boxes and you know those cookies, like those Christmas cakes. I'm gonna get some of that. We're gonna have fun with this. And we will probably, um, I will take you out and we'll go through my junk uh, at the time that I make my next Friday flip through video, uh, which will be my journal for 2019 and 2020. Did I use it? No, I didn't use it for 20. 2020 was a non Christmas journal year. So was 21. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. I did not Christmas. I did not Christmas on 20 in 2020. I mean, we had Christmas here, but it was not, um, you know, it was weird. Everybody can agree. The whole world, the entire world can agree that 2020 was weird. Now, this is paper is brittle. Um, I learned that the paper has problems going through my sewing machine when I thought it was the, I, I, you could make this into a belly band, but I'm gonna glue the whole thing. Uh, I thought it was my sewing machine, so I fidgeted around with the machine for like a hundred days, and then I happened to try it on different paper. I'm like, oh, see, I fixed the sewing machine. Then I grabbed another piece of this and started doing it again. And after 500 days, I decided it was the, it was the paper. So yeah, really fragile, brittle paper, which is funny because some of the Reader's Digest books that I have that I make into my pockets, they are very brittle. The paper gets very crunchy and um, I can, and it still seems to work just fine. So I don't know. It must just be certain, sorry for my arm, but this isn't gonna stay down. It must just be certain brands, I guess, or something. I just don't know. Um, I want to find more tissue paper. I'm sure I have more. And wrapping paper. Um, I have some wrapping paper that I bought recently that we could use. And just get my Christmas cards in here from last year. Okay. <clears throat> so I'll start with this one. Um, I bought a whole bunch of rolls. We buy rolls. Um, we typically buy rolls from Dollar, um, from Goodwill when we see them there because yes, people get rid of good paper like this one. This is like an actual craft paper. I mean, it is still, it is kind of thin, but it's very nice. Very nice paper. Okay. Um, let's see, should I aliens or should I glue stick because it's thinner? We'll glue stick. Uh, I don't think I have any glue sticks over here. I 
I don't know how much is left on it, but we'll do what we can. I hope everyone had a nice holiday. I spent my weekend when I wasn't doing holiday stuff or home improvement stuff. I spent my weekend in here uh, purging some punches, jewelry, buttons, and beads is what I went through. So my bead um, collection, my own collection, didn't go down too, too much, but I got, I've gotten a lot recently, and I'm getting rid of about 70% of what I've recently acquired. So, um, so that has had me pretty busy, and... I um, have made packs, <clears throat> tons of bead soup and button soup and bead and button soup. And I had these little organizer boxes that I got with some of the beads I recently got. And uh, I made little organizer boxes too. Oh, I should have folded that over. You know, see what you made me do? So yeah, that was my most of my free time. Yesterday, the whole day was spent in here, pretty much. Putting that stuff together. And I have jewelry. I have, you know, the only thing I haven't bagged up yet is the jewelry. So that will be my next endeavor. Yeah, I'll put this in the back somewhere. This one is shiny. Fancy, fancy, fancy. And that has tape there. I don't really care. Go we'll cover it. Right? Don't throw it out. Just cover it up. That's that nice paper that slides when you cut it. I'm going to put a lean for this one. But yeah, my building is finished, so that'll be coming soon, and uh, and I need to get rid of some of this stuff before I bring it out there, because some of this I'm just never going to use. And I'm sorry, I love buttons, they are so nice, they are so much fun to look at and collect, but I don't use a ton. I don't use a ton of buttons. So I kept some of the ones that I'll use. I kept some of the hitch post buttons because those make good closures. But other than that, I am not, uh, I am not keeping five billion buttons. I don't need a whole big jar full. So some of it is just some of it can be yours if you decide you would like some. I'm going to have a sale. I don't know when because my schedule right now is like nuts. But I am going to have a sale and it's going to be a soup sale and I'm going to sell all kinds of soup. I'm going to sell bead soup and I'm going to sell button soup. And I'm going to sell a hodgepodge soup of all kinds of stuff. And, uh, you know, that's what it's, that's what it's going to be. All right, we're going to start with the first three, and then I might do the rest of my cards off camera. This is a recipe. I love the envelope. More envelopes. Envelopes of mine, my Christmas card from last year, my recipes from last year. Wow, I lied. I guess I don't have a ton of... Of um, 
cards. I don't, they must all be with my, my goodies, but I'll glue these in. I do like the envelope, this envelope from Alisa, California. Yeah, so we'll glue this one in. I'm not going to bore you with cutting the edges off of this paper right now, so if you're like, why is she leaving those papers hanging off of there? I'll get to them. I will get to them. I gotta get the kids, I gotta take the kids pictures for our own Christmas photo this year. Don't know what I'm gonna do. I usually like to do something outside. Last year I did it by our, where our fireplace came out of our wall. So they are in the fake fireplace and I used all their funny. They were so funny. They just, they just were funny. So I used their hilarious pictures for my Christmas cards. I'm going to put this envelope on here, but I will deco we will decorate this together at some point, okay? But I'm going to make it into a pocket. And I'm just going to loosely tuck my card in there for now. I might put it, make it into a tag. I like to do that. Alright, so that is going to be all that I'm going to do. Um, because I'm sure my other cards are with my Christmas stuff. Um, but that's going to be all that I'm going to do because I have a whole bunch of stuff to get done. And I don't want to... Uh, you know, I want to make this last, so we'll do more videos together, and I will go. We'll go through some of my Christmas stuff over the next few days, and you can see what kind of goodies I got, what kind of goodies we're gonna use, and we're gonna just have fun with this all Christmas season. Ta ta for now.